Two similar men's watches, an Elgin and a Sheffield from the late 50s or early 60s. You can clearly see the luminous hands and markers on the Elgin. The Sheffield has non-luminous hands and a non-lum painted dial. Look at what happens when we put the luminous Elgin under the Geiger counter. For reference, a value between 20 and 50 is considered harmless background radioactivity. The hazardous effects of radioactive exposure have been known since the mid-1920s, but radium continued to be used in watches until the late 1960s. With a 1,600-year half-life, a 65-year-old wristwatch still has more than 95% of its original radioactive energy, so it's important to know if a watch is radioactive so you can limit your exposure. But looks can be deceiving. Check out this Sheffield under the Geiger counter. Whoa! This non-luminous watch is sending the Geiger counter up even more. I have no idea why, but now I know to protect myself in my work area when I service it. So when in doubt, get the Geiger counter out.